underwater city builder? Sign me up. Let's get right into it. Now, this is just brand new to Steam. It's out in demo mode at the moment, but I will be buying the full game the moment it releases because it is... It's just a lot of fun. I've I've played through the tutorial twice now, and uh, I must say, I still haven't come to exactly what sort of logo I would want here, but I will say some of these are really, really cool. I like the hammerhead shark. It's very fish-themed. That looks pretty cool with the, the teeth, the shark teeth. We will go with, we'll go with the hammerhead shark. I like it. And I'm white. Deep C9. Yeah, sounds pretty good. Let's go. Mm, shallow Wreath or Wasteland, Deep Passage. What was the one I was doing? I just Shallow Wreath. Let's go. Uh, as for all these satins, I just leave them as is. Let's go. I don't know if the starting month makes much of a difference. I suppose in the winter it says something about it gets colder. Uh, so that's something to just bear in mind. For anyone new to the game, where do you see this? It's it's also aesthetically gorgeous, I must I must say. So where did I normally I, I built my base last time up uh, up here. Uh, so I guess I will just I'll kinda cozy up here. Okay, welcome Sea Mayor. Leading an underwater colony is a great responsibility, but we at New Atlant this initiative have no doubt you can handle it. Going underwater is our last chance of survival since the asteroid hit. Uh, focus on production of plastics for construction, fuel for heating, food for our people. It's also a tutorial that I'll be talking through as well as the game itself, so let's go. The cold winter will, currents will strike soon. Build a beacon of civilization and give hope to mankind. Okay. Uh, yep, yeah, as you can see, it is just gorgeous. But there is one thing that I must sort right away. Oh no, I can't until I get a building, isn't that right? You get the color schemes going. So as you can see at the top, uh, this is all of your icons that you need. Credits, act like currency in any other game. We have food, very important. Now the food obviously expands into several tiers. Obviously getting uh, more grilled oysters in tier three. Mm, love that. Uh, we have medicine basic goods, and a lot of these do expand into further uh, further resources. Batteries, we've got sponge, very important, both of them. And then, probably the most important resources, oxygen, fuel, crude oil, and electricity. They form the basis of nearly everything here. Uh, we have two residents at the moment, two adults. Uh, we have 12 drones, as you can see them just swimming about here. The guys, they're well, the people, they're actually in those wee suits. I wish you could zoom in a wee bit more, but that's that's a minor inconvenience. Influence points, uh, happiness, plastics, tools. We'll be going through all of these and their uses as we go along. Uh, for this, it gets you just to adjust the game speed, zoom in and out. Usual, usual we uh, antics of any tutorial. It's quite cool. You can adjust the camera exactly how you want. Oh, well, I can go a wee bit closer like that. That's pretty cool. Okay, use the game bar to give drones and workers... What are we going to do? We gatherers place. This gives you, like, fauna or sea snails. So... Oh, my sensitivity was a wee bit up there. Where do I want to place this? I want this placed... Uh, quite... That'll be nice. Nice wee place. I do a sort of the streets of... A f about a length of four squares. Don't know. Maybe it's OCD. Maybe it's just aesthetically pleasing. Uh, we'll speed it up get this constructed and soon we'll be able to adjust the color schemes of everything there we go painting okay now I want to make all my buildings uh, a nice nice wee decor so primary color we will make them sort of dark blue it's quite nice uh, white for some of the details and a darker gray and if we apply to all and maybe swap over the primary color and secondary color Yeah, it's nice. Nice wee teal blue. Um, apply it all of the details. The green works well. Oh, no, the grey. do like the grey. Grey is nice for detailing. Okay, let's continue. Job board. Hit J. Uh, you can automatically assign workforce, so just tick on that. There is a ton of jobs and a ton of drones. 
drones and people can both uh, perform quite a lot of these uh, tasks. And eventually the humans kind of just go off and do their own thing as, as the drones sort of outnumber them. Production buildings, it is easy to get overwhelmed, but we're going to take it. The, the bottom line of most of these is essentially all you need to get started. So we'll do a sponge collector, get that screen off and uh, yeah. So see the work efficiency just below the name there. Uh, depending on how many sponges are around it. I'm going to try and get as high an efficiency as possible. Is it over here? Uh, over here I can get an efficiency of 115. Over here, 112. No, 115 will do. Where did I? Whoa. 117. Even better. And then this place will start growing uh, the sponge just, just around it. Kind of like most of those uh, civilization games, or well, city building games, where uh, they just start growing the resource around them. Reminds me of uh, Settlers, a wee bit like that. Oil platform. Okay, so this is where it's very important to see the grid color. So, green is fertile areas. They'll be good for building the likes of farms and whatnot. Buildings are obviously the yellow and the you cannot build is uh, the red. The abyss, I don't know if the abyss, I know you can't really build in the abyss, but I don't know if it's of any use yet. Uh, there's a few other colors, radioactive areas, I don't know, of. I haven't got far enough in the tech tree to tell you what they really do, but the uh, crude oil is a sort of darkish brown where we're going to need to place this oil platform. And the other thing you need to know is ore, ore being uh, like a light white, so that's it there. No. Let's see. Do you have any ore? No, the only the only bit of oil is over here. So we'll place it here because we want 100% efficiency. So you really just want to get it within the tiles. There. That'll leave us a good bit of room. If we need more fuel, refinery turns the crude oil into fuel. Um, so yeah, crude oil and then turns it into uh, the fuel over here. We do want these two buildings to be relatively near one another. Um, I'll place it here. And then we've got to connect them up via pipelines, these connect buildings, and allow the transfer of resources. There we go. Don't worry, you make them we can, we'll get really as ecstatic with them as we go on here. Uh, select the Mark Sponge Collector and pay for the production boost. So you can basically upgrade all buildings, give them extra worker slots, production bonuses, and radiuses. Now, uh, I do recommend that you do it as much as possible, provided it's just credits and sponge. They're easy to spend. Plastics, um, we bit that's sort of the next level. Let me see if I activate this. Yeah, see, it goes to 15 plastics. Now, you can use that, and the production value is really good. However, plastics don't come as easy as sponge or credits. But yeah, we'll let these buildings get constructed by all our wee drones. So yeah, you probably get the you get the base idea. Sponge is then turned into plastics. Plastics form the basis of most upgrades and a lot of the later game buildings. I'm going to take the grid system off here so you can see the beautiful aesthetics of it all. Uh, I do like the colour scheme. I do like the teal. The teal's got a nice touch to it, doesn't it? Uh, the plastics factory, as I just mentioned, uh, makes plastics a key resource from sponge. Nice. Okay, so we probably want to put this in, I'd say, the middle. Let me see... Put it there; it'll automatically be connected to the uh, so the to the pipeline. So when you're placing a building, it's actually just the wee blue dots that you see around it are just for the pipelines. Um, it's not actually the border of the building itself. It'll be constructed relatively quickly. You can slow it down, play the game at a much slower pace, of course. Look! Look at these buildings; they are just they're just gorgeous. Really, really gorgeous. What's this? 
Uh, some materials can be found and scavenged by your immediate surroundings, such as plastics, iron, stone, and sponge. Okay. So we can just go and gather these bad boys. Bit of iron. Thank you. Okay, we can't really gather anything else, but that's pretty good. Let's see. I'm going to guess the drones just go out and harvest it all. Do you indeed. All right. Additional panels research. Very important. We'll start unlocking the tidal turbine. Now, this resource, resource tree, look at it. Crazy. That is... And I think the demo almost allows you to do it all, so we'll just keep going and see how far we can get. Um, as for the tidal turbine, it will... Uh, essentially, if you think it's the likes of city skylines and whatnot, it's just a turbine generates electricity, um, which is very important. We can also build a dome. Now, the dome is like a whole other level to this game. Let me... Let me explain and show you all. Uh, we'll place the dome... Just in front of me, So I can kind of show you what's what's going on here. Let's get it constructed. Come on, we drones, get working. Trust me, after a couple of hours playing this game, you get all you get used to all the base resources. I couldn't probably tell you the highest, you know, the second and third tiers of most things, but you can get the basics. Once the basics are in, you can just have as much fun as possible in this game. Let's see, what is this? Oh yeah, so you can toggle the domes here. The domes sit like this above your city. And uh, to be honest, when you're zoomed in, they're not, they're not much of a problem. They only appear when you tab out. And when you sort of go out a wee bit further, you can see exactly what they look like. See, the wee dome, it's pretty cool. Okay, so inside things get a little different. You can place houses, you, you know, have the wee entrances here. And, uh, to be honest, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to be a bit differently. Um, I'm gonna place this right up to the corner here. Place one house there, we need to place two. How much of a gap can I leave? Hmm. Do you want to min-max it or do you want it to look pretty? See, that's that's the decision that I have to face here. And I'll place that there. And then that means I can place another one face in here. And uh, I'm not going to make them like a super ultra tight operation. I want it to be a nice, nice spaced out one. Okay, what we got now, we're on to the tidal turbine. Now I'm going to place these eh, relatively nearby. I don't want them taking up too much of the crude oil or the iron ore. Uh, so probably just at the back of the plastics factory would probably be a good start. Or even over here, if I can just... Four gaps. Yep. Boom. And from here you can connect up the pipes. See, these tubes actually connect oil, fuel, oxygen, electricity, because you can see the way, you know, wires run through. It's actually really well done, because you can see one's probably for oil, one's electrics, and one is for, like, the likes of fuel. Uh, so that's pretty... It's a really neat, really neat addition. And I, I just love the attention to detail. It's just it's really, really nice. Okay. Uh, let's see, let them build the turbine. All the buildings have their own wee animations. Again, another thing that's absolutely unbelievable. And uh, I suppose this bit of the tutorial I'm going to take over myself. So, obviously, you can go to the, your subsurface base. That is this building here. There's a load of directives that you'll eventually be able to research, which is pretty cool. They give different bonuses depending on uh, whatever it is. Like, this one gives you plus 50 plus 1.5 credits per house, uh, this one's drone speed, this one's uh, immigrants coming in, and it uh, costs you influence, which is this wee point up here, so you can only have so many active, and uh, yeah. Then, the research screen. Now, whenever we unlock everything, we just always be research and never have any downtime in the research. The amount of credits that it costs to research things is negligible, so just keep going. 
you'll make the credits back in no time. You can pull up a wee log, gives you just various information on the colony. We have stock, very important. Now, we are very close to our full capacity, so we'll be actually building another depot soon. Uh, you can go over to the jobs board, we've already been on that. It'll automatically assign workers as you uh, build new drones once we get a drone factory. Uh, residents, I uh, can't click on it at the moment. Buildings overview though. What's really good about this is you can actually see the upgrades and what star you have um, currently got all your buildings at. Now again, it is overwhelming as to the amount of buildings, but not to worry. These are the five absolute main ones for all your basic resources, except uh, oxygen. We haven't actually got round to that just yet. Ah, here we go. That's actually just told me. And there's the wee mini map. You can pull up wee mini map. We're just over here and you can expand to all of this. I mean, maybe you could have started over here. Probably would have given you a lot more building area, but sure, we'll get over there pretty soon. Uh, and then expedition map, but we don't have that unlocked just yet. Okay, oxygen time. What does oxygen need? Uh, needs electricity to produce oxygen. That's pretty basic. Nothing, nothing near startling with that. And bam. we need electricity. And we're gonna need it from here. Means we're gonna have to run a pipe. The pipe's probably gonna have to go from here. You can kind of see how it works now. What's wrong with this? Missing connection to a pipeline. Oh, haven't connected it uh, to a pipeline. See, it'll need that for the likes of uh, electricity. Happy days. Drones use batteries. If you run out of batteries, your drones will not be able to fulfill their tasks. So we need to start getting a battery factory up and running. Pipeline not working. Sometimes the breakdown, you just click this, go over, hit repair socket. Normally it's a teeny tiny amount of credits. And uh, that'll fix that up for you. Tutorial will continue after we finish researching. Okay. Uh, very close to doing it. Then we drone factory and fuel refineries get a bonus as well. Uh, I'll just follow the tutorial before I just go off on my own. Upgrading and upgrading and doing things as I see fit. Let's see, the battery factory. Uh, here. Need to connect that up as well. Okay, this marks the end of the step-by-step -step tutorial as a final word of advice. <laughs> I mean, maybe it would have been better if it clicked off, but I'm sure all of you can pause and read that bit. Yeah, so that, that actually concludes the tutorial part for Aquatico. I'm going to leave it as is, um, just to give you another, I suppose, another wee overview here. Um, luxury goods, we don't need to worry too much about that, or basic goods, we'll get into that as research goes on. Um, my recommendation on the research is definitely to, you know, get a deco banner. It improves the satisfaction of the environment and you can place them all around your inner dome. Uh, get a drone factory up and running as well and all these, all these green... So the blue is unlocking a building or an item. Uh, usually and the uh, sort of light blue green uh, greens are the the edicts as I, as I mentioned earlier that you can activate for influence and the blue here they're more like we upgrade so uh, you know 10% production here here yeah just 10% production basically across certain buildings uh, so be sure to pick up as much as possible and then the golden ones here are for your subsurface base which is your primary building but yeah Enjoy Aquatico, seriously, it is an amazing city builder. Um, let me know in the comments section what you think of it, how far have you got in it, and uh, will you be buying it when it's fully out? I will uh, be continuing this and just uh, going off in my merry way. So, thank you for watching as always, and I'll see you in the next one.